It's been one month since Trayvon Martin was shot and killed in Florida. This group on the New Haven Green here says they want something done about it. A brutal wind and colder temperatures did not stop this determined group. Leaving the campus of the University of New Haven, they marched through the streets of West Haven and into New Haven. We're here to fight for justice for Trayvon Martin. Protests have been seen across the nation from hoodies on the hill on Capitol Hill to the entire Miami Heat team showing their support. And in churches like Community Baptist in New Haven, they held a moment of silence on Sunday, bowing their heads with hoodies. 17-year-old Trayvon Martin was wearing a hoodie when he was shot and killed in Sanford, Florida by neighborhood watch captain George Zimmerman. Trayvon was not armed. Police have yet to charge Zimmerman. The point was to wear a hoodie and then show that you know, he wasn't alone in this case, and it could be any of us. They also held what Trayvon held on that fateful night, Arizona iced tea and skittles. And they say folks along the route welcomed the site. We've been supported by the people in the cars honking their horns. Witness has now come forward saying the voice on the 911 tape calling for help is Zimmerman's, not Trayvon's. Zimmerman apparently had a broken nose and his head was bloodied from the fight with Trayvon. And Zimmerman has said he acted in self-defense. The lead prosecutor in the case tells ABC News Florida's stand your ground law may make it difficult to try or convict Zimmerman. And tonight, as the students gather together on the green, chanting and holding a moment of silence, they say it is Zimmerman's arrest that they pray for. Ideally, hopefully it'll happen. It's rumored that it will happen soon, so hopefully we can speed up the process. I just want to show the rest of the world that we care. We're told students up at UConn were also holding a demonstration tonight, as well as other groups around the country. On the scene in New Haven, Annie Rourke, News 8.